Dragon Ball Super needs more villains. I recently realized that since the Android arc, or the Cell arc, or whatever you want to call it, since that arc, and you really, really think about it, the reason the other characters are becoming progressively less youth, less youthful, is not because of the fact that Goku and Vegeta keep on getting stronger, it's because there's really only one antagonist that matters. There's really only one villain that matters. Now, normally in a shonen theory, the way this is dealt with is that you would have a group of antagonists. If you look at something like Naruto, and you have the Akaki. Naruto had the Naruto, the main character, had his main fight with Pain. That was his fight. That was like, I'm the main character, this is the big, big bad guy, I need you to think. But there were other members, other antagonists from this group that the, all the other characters could fight. And they, just, they varied in... Because they varied in strength, then you could actually continuously make other characters youthful. The problem in arcs like the Sister Trunk Dark is you're either strong enough to fight black, or you're irrelevant. And the more I'm thinking at it, I'm like, that is why characters like Gohan, Krillin, TM, that is why some of our favorite characters aren't youthful. And don't tell me Toriyama couldn't come up with a couple henchmen. He'd done it before. Look at Frieza. That would have been a great thing to have a freeze arc because there's so many people to get you for. Everybody got to fight. Everybody on planet Namek got to fight somebody from begin you for or freeze. Everybody got to fight. And then Goku showed up at the end and fought the main villain. But the villain had this whole list of people under him that varied in strength. In strength. And then the people that were at that strength level could fight that guy. That means every character got to fight. Gohan got to fight. Krillin got to fight. And Piccolo got to fight. Hell, we got to see background characters like Nail fight. I mean, that is good quality storytelling. And I know Toriyama's capable of it. Even in the Android arc. Look at that arc. Piccolo vs. 17. The, the, uh, the Z Fighter vs. the Android. I mean, it, there are instances where other characters fight. But I noticed, after the Frieza arc, it gets less and less. And fewer and fewer characters become important. We should not be in a situation where the only thing to discuss is who going to kill Black. There should be other people. And then the Boo are just forget it. I mean, we had Deborah and Bobbity and his people, but they were all father. I mean, those weren't real fights. Those weren't like full length feature fights that are like the climax like fight that build characters and develop them. No. Any real fight that happened in the Boo arc were against Majin Boo. And right now, we are in a situation where it's black. That's it. We have black. I mean, that's it. That's all there is to fight. So we're here discussing which one of our favorite characters is going to get to finish off the bad guy. Because there's only one bad guy to finish off, meaning only one character is going to get that big epic fight. Only one with a satisfying conclusion. It's going to be Vegeta will, they're all gonna fight Black. Vegeta gonna fight him. Trunk will fight him. Goku will fight him. But the stuff, unless you're the, unless then you want Goku to win. Goku will kill Black, right? Then you're the only one that's going to be satisfied with it. You're the only one that will be satisfied. Let's say you want Vegeta to kill him. Then you'll be, you'll be the only one that is satisfied with how it ends. Let's say you want Trunk to kill him, you'll be the only one that's satisfied. If Toriyama made more villains that worked with Black, or gave Black like a minions or followers or something, then at least you could give Vegeta the kill of maybe the second strongest guy. The, the guy un right under Black, the second strongest, Vegeta could kill him. And the guy the third strongest, Trunk could kill him, and Goku could kill Black. Every and makes each fight like three or four episodes, get make Make each fight three or four episodes long. Make each character get this badass fight with a satisfying conclusion. Give your characters a time to shine. Hell, I would, I, you know what I would love? I would love if Black had like a slave or an underling or something that Krillin and Tien could fight. How awesome would that? Seeing Tien get to fight somebody. But that's not going to happen because Z is, it's all about who can destroy more planets. It's not gonna happen, and I know it, this is a negative video, but that's freaking true and that's depressing because it's not hard to make your characters youthful. Just introduce other characters, other villains 
that they can fight again. You, that's how you can make them useful. I don't care. And just give Black a mini army. Give Black the power to create mini armies or something. Do something so the other character can go and be useful. Something, Toriyama. Something. But it just, it, let's have more villains. If we had more villains, who killed the big bad guy wouldn't be the problem. Because people could be like, well, even though Goku got the kill again, at least I got to see Vegeta kick the shit out of, I don't know, Gowatsu. Maybe Gowatsu is be black partner, and Vegeta could kill him, and everybody could be really satisfied with the conclusion to Vegeta's three-episode fight. And everybody's happy, right? And I don't want this there to be negative, because I can tell you this. Toriyama is a good writer, and this is something a lot of other writers do. In fact, this is the way most shonen writers deal with the, this problem. The problem of as the main character needs to get the kill. The main character needs to be the one to bring down the bad guy. In, in most cases, they're almost, they almost always are in shonen. That's the way it works. So, how do they get around this? They introduce a group of people and have other characters fight against them. In Naruto, Sakura vs. Sakura. Sakura, as a main character, took out at least one member of the Akaki. Sake took out Itachi and Deidara. Naruto took out Pain. And I could go on and on. Oh, uh, Bleach! Jun 3 vs. Lilnya. Urahara vs. Akin. And then we had Ichigo vs. Yuha. We had all these other fights going on. I could go on and on at how many times this had been done in Jonin series. It's not hard. You don't even need to make the villain that likable. It's good if they're likable. And good if they're interesting, but I don't really care. I just want to see the character that I like do something. And the only way to do that is if you introduce characters, they can fight. So Toriyama, please do that. I really hope next time we get a legitimate villain like Black. Next time we get a real antagonist. Not the multiverse tournament, and we're obviously not going to have that in this arc. But next time we get a real legitimate antagonist, please... Please give him people that are with him. Don't make it just be one guy. Give, make it a group of people. I'm not saying to make it like 10 people. But make it like 5 people. So you can pick like 5 characters. And make it vary in strength. Make it so you can have maybe Krill and Tien fight one of them. Do something. But please give the other characters other people to fight. They, Krillin does not need to fight the main villain. Vegeta does not need to fight the main villain. Give them their own individual opponent. Give us a select group of enemies and just make there be the, like, make there be the henchmen and then the main antagonist. Please do that. It's a common thing done in storytelling and it's not hard to do. But guys, if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on how, on um, all of this in the comment section down below. And above all else, guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation signing out.